So if you've ever struggled with mindless eating or stress eating or emotional eating or unconscious eating or comfort eating, right? Or binge eating, pretty much all of the weird ways that we're in relationship with food. And you wanna stop, you wanna stop eating emotionally and you wanna stop, you know, binging on food in any way or stop just going mindless where when you kind of wake up the next day going, wait, what did I just eat? What just happened? Well, you're in the right place because today I'm gonna share with you two surefire strategies that will completely alter and change your relationship to your own body and with food. I'm Audra Baker and you're in the right place if you want to experience life-changing health and wellness and vitality in the sexiest body you've ever had. So one of the first exercises that I give all of my clients is called the hunger scale. What you want to do is you just want to start going in and paying attention. Are you even hungry? Are you not hungry? So many times when we go to eat food, we eat completely unconscious or our emotions are driving us to go get the food. And other times we might actually feel physically hungry where we're like, oh yeah, I'm ready to eat. And then we don't know when to stop, right? And then the next thing you know, you've just totally overdone it. And another thing is a lot of people eat on a schedule, again, completely mindless. They just eat breakfast because it's time to eat breakfast or they eat dinner because it's time to eat dinner and they're completely disconnected to whether or not they're even hungry or not. Like, that's not how our bodies are designed. So the first thing you wanna do is start paying attention to are you even hungry in the first place? And the way that I do that with my clients is I work on a scale of one to 10. A five is neutral. A five is you are neither hungry nor full. It's this in-between state. A notch below that, well, you feel a little hungry. There's something going on there. A three is gonna be even more hungry. A two, you start to get a little irritated, right? And a one is generally not a great place to be because you're gonna eat freaking out of house and home. You're usually ravenous at this point. You're usually shaky. And often what happens is that you consume food so fast that your body hasn't had time to register. So then on that scale of one to 10, you end up way up here to like a nine or a 10. And so let's talk about the other direction of the scale. So a five is neither hungry nor full. A six is you start to feel a little satiated. A seven, now you start to feel a little bit more fullness. An eight can feel really satisfying sometimes. Generally a nine is gonna start to feel like a little much. It's gonna be like, oh boy, that might have just been right over the edge. And then a 10, I don't know about you, I know 10s, they are so miserable. It's like you lay there in bed and you can't lay down and then you like roll over to one side but you feel like your stomach just got left on the other side. It really is an awful feeling. And the difference between a nine and a 10 can be very, very subtle. You might have just gone a little too far to a nine and then you sit there for a little longer and take one more bite of something and boom, you hit a 10 and it's the absolute worst. So what we wanna do is we want to become our best detectives throughout the day. Am I even hungry? Am I experiencing a four, a three, or a two? Ideally, we want to figure this out before we hit to like a low two or a one because then it's almost too late, right? And then when it's time to eat, when you're actually physically hungry, how do you sit there and pay attention while you're eating to how you're feeling? If you were at a three, what does it feel like to gently and slowly get up to a five? What does a five even feel like? What's it like to not be hungry or not be full? And then play with it, go, all right, what is a six gonna feel like? How much food do I need to eat to get to a six, right? And now you're really internally paying attention to what's going on. This is such a key, key, Point and such an easy way to start to practice deep connection with your own body. The other thing that's great about this is when you tune in and tap in and go, wait, I guess I'm actually not even hungry. I'm more like at a five, I'm not hungry or full, and yet you still want to eat. That is a sign that it has absolutely nothing to do with physical hunger, and now you're about to go into binge eating, emotional eating, unconscious eating, all of these other ways that we eat that have nothing to do with physical hunger. How can we even tell? What's the other skill that has to be paired with this? It's called slow down. And this is huge. So 
Really quick neuroscience 101. Our nervous system, our primal brain, the back part of our brain. Its main job is to keep us safe and alive, but also our autonomic nervous system is housed in our primal brain. So our autonomic nervous system has two jets. One of them is our sympathetic nervous system, which is also our fight and flight stress response. And the other one is our parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and digest response, right? So most of us eat way too fast. We're in a hurry. We eat standing up in front of the fridge. We eat while we're working. We eat while we're driving. We eat, we sneak food. We do all of these things that put us in a stressful state while we eat. How are you even gonna be able to pay attention to what you're doing? Also, the stress state, what it ends up doing is it makes it so you can't even metabolize your food. And because you're eating so fast, you haven't given your body enough time to recognize enough there's like this little sweet spot where if you go slow enough, your body really gives you the cues enough. And you get those cues when you were in the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest nervous system. So when you can just take a deep breath while you're eating, slow down, put your fork down, sit at a table while you're eating, and all of a sudden, your whole world starts to change. Not to mention, metabolically, you are now in the nervous system response where there's more blood flow going to your organs. The rest, it's called the rest and digest part of your nervous system on purpose because it allows for you to really enjoy the food and metabolically mulch the food and get as much bioavailability out of that food, as much nourishment as you can. And the other thing that it gives you is time. When you have this time, everything shifts because all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I'm actually full. And there's still like a half a plate of food right there. Whoa. So these two things alone have changed the lives of countless clients, <laughs> changed my life. And it seems so simple, right? But it does take practice, it does take diligence. Now, there is a whole other part of this because what happens when you finally are in tune with this and then you look at your plate and go, oh my God, I've just discovered that I'm not hungry anymore and I've eaten enough, I found and felt that enough, but now there's still a plate of food there. There's like a half a plate and I still wanna eat it because <gasps> then we get to go dig into the other emotional work, which will be in the next video. <laughs> so if you have enjoyed this information, if you have loved this, make sure to share it with your friends, like it, and go ahead and go over to audrebaker.com and subscribe to my newsletter list because over there is where I share all of my personal details and stories that I absolutely don't share here. So you definitely wanna head on over there and check that out and have the most beautiful week. I'll see you next time.